How's it going guys? Welcome to the RCS shop. Or well, what will be the future of it. Uh, a little bit, you know, the uh, random crazy blank shop. I'll let you fill that one in. Uh, so, a little introduction here, you know, start the channels. Everybody's got to have their first video, right? Um, so, just like the title and the name of it says, random crazy. A little bit of anything and everything around here. I mean, anything that seems fun, crazy, wild. Yeah, no. No, as well. First off, we're going to start by uh, rehabbing this place, which I'll uh, show you here in a few minutes. Um, get a nice base location going. It's an old uh, horse barn and 10 acres of land picked up. Be a nice shop. Probably do a little house down in the end. I'll show y'all that. We'll go through the whole thing. It'll the build will be on the channel. A uh, little place to stay and a lot of place to work. Dirt bikes, four wheelers, go karts, cars. Build some crazy trucks. You know the crazy stuff. Let's put a Chevy V8 on a go kart. Could be interesting. Be real fun. You know, that kind of random crazy stuff. Everything from cars to guns. Everybody loves guns. To building stuff. You know, just a little bit of everything around here. In the end, the uh, general goal for the channel, I imagine, would be somewhere of a mix between, like, a little vice grip garage, if you know these people. And these are channels that I watch. Guys that I like. Vice Grip Garage, Cletus McFarlane, uh, a little bit of cars and cameras, mixed between that and anything from Wild Wonderful Off Grid. Great channel, you should go check them out. They're doing real good stuff with that. And they're definitely doing it out in West Virginia at their own homestead, building everything themselves. They're killing it. You know, just a little bit of a mix of everything. Nothing real specific, but I'll uh, give you a little tour here of the building. We got a lot of work to do. So, let's see. As you can tell, I'm looking. This is it. It's an old 32 by 80 wide was a horse barn. Had some horse stalls over here. I'm working on taking those out now. Let me tell you, the ground under here, tough, real tough. That clay is solid. So it's a uh, very slow digging, but we're getting there. And just general junk. This place hasn't been kept up and taken care of for years. So we got a lot of rehab to go. Stuff like this out of here. You know, dirt, trees growing up. Looks like I think this whole wall, in fact, I'm pretty sure both these walls, they're gonna come down completely and I'm gonna rebuild them because I just don't like the way they got them situated up in here and do very pole barn style in the walls there. But, you know, we're working on it. Got all kinds of junk and crap people been leaving over here for years. I even got an intruder tire from some old farm equipment around the side. I'll show you in a few minutes. Ain't nobody using that door no time soon. I don't know what they were doing, but got a whole thing of just solid concrete here. I don't know, might be good for something. Other than just good for using the jackhammer to break it up and throw it away. Probably what it'll be good for. Just more stuff. It's like they were trying to do something. But, that's where we're at so far. I've been here. This isn't the first day owning the place. I've been uh, out here doing a couple days worth of work here and there. So, it's a little bit different than... Uh, 
when I first found it. We're getting there. Got us a nice little pile going, all this just, you know, dump run stuff. All kinds of crap has been left over the years. Enough baling twine for probably 500 acres of hay. I don't even know why they had that much twine. They ain't got that much land out here. You know, some of the good metal. Good metal and good wood can be kept. And then this pile. This is the big pile right here. This, this is all the burn pile. This is all the crap, sprayer wood, all kinds of stuff that just needs to go. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be, I'll tell you that much. But, old siding. This thing's got old T111 siding on it. So all this is gonna be coming down. I do like the siding look, but the new, uh, that LP smart side siding stuff is way better. Way better. And this stuff's just done for anyway come over here you can see we got to do a little bit of work on the roof get one of those uh panels replaced maybe see close in this soffit because this eventually a whole building will be heated and cooled is the goal so we'll get all the soffit done but i also been doing a little bit of work today i'm cleaning this out and I don't know what it is, but this place must be a mecca for those little thorny vines, you know, that really just dig into you and are a pain to deal with. Yeah, all this. Part of me really wants to just come in here and burn it all, but then I can't because the building's right there. So we're stuck doing it by hand the old fashioned way. I can't tell you how many holes and scrapes I have right now from dealing with this stuff today. Ow, speaking of which, likes to dig into the skin. Ooh, I'm getting ready to get some rain. Welcome to summertime in the south. You set your watch by the rainstorms. Somewhere over here, and this isn't the other one, is some piece of equipment. I can't even really tell what it is yet. I don't want to set, I don't know, some piece of farm equipment. We'll have to dig out of there eventually. Try to get that thing out of there. And then all this stuff to work through. Tell you what, it's probably the world's most secure door right now. Ain't nobody crazy enough to go through here and try to get all this. They have a bad day. And then I got something over here. That's the tire poking through the building there and it looks like it got smashed into the building. Can't really tell what that is either. It's got that John Deere green paint color though, so who knows. I don't really plan on using this as a farm. So that'll probably be going away or, you know, we'll find some other crazy use for it. This is a random crazy shop. And, you know, looks like... I don't even know what these people were doing. You look outside of the boards there, and this 2x4 comes down outside these two purlins, and then they kicked it inside this purlin. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Don't know what they were doing. Got random concrete here. But... A little more rest of the land. I got a little pond for, you know, whatever that is. Uh, property comes over here, cuts up through the gate right there. Got some old horse feeders and stuff over there. And then it looks like we got this whole trailer here. I think this is an old mobile home trailer looks like it anyways and I don't know it's got some brakes in it I don't really know if it's gonna be good for using yeah normally take one of these they're in pretty decent shape make somewhat of a good trailer out of it but this one doesn't seem to be in very good shape looks like somebody already cut off the outriggers 
and it's uh, got a couple complete cracks like right there you can see I don't know if somebody hit it just dumped it out here or they were trying to do something with it but either way it's kind of a mix of nothing right now and more of the thorny bushes man this whole place is covered with them I don't know if I can find anything that like deters that need some of the uh some of that old school roundup that stuff that killed just about anything need like 100 gallons come out here and just start spraying everything and we got us an old uh i think that's like plow or plow i don't know exact names of farm equipment implements in my strong suit but you know Looks like something you drag to start tilling the dirt. Oh, trees randomly growing in the way everywhere. Oh, look, I just noticed that. Got a nice spool of barbed wire there, which is good. Man, there's a lot of fence around here. Comes through over here. Property line stops at the fence right there. And from what I heard, Somebody bought 30 acres, all this 30 acres through here. So let's see what happens with that. Through the fence. Got to fix this gate. Get some work done over here. So we can get everything gated off. Lots of tree trimming. No fir tree. Huh. And then it goes back this way. Oh, hay feeder there. Oh. I guess at one point in time, this whole, whole thing was owned by somebody who had a farm out here, like a fully functioning farm. And then they sold it to somebody who lived out of state and never really did anything with it for like 10 years. And now it's being sold to all of us. So this, it's about four acres that goes back all that way. That fence right there runs all the way down. And then it comes in from over there where that blue stake is and cuts up. Heads back that way. It comes to about 300 feet wide at the very end back there. But got some ideas and some plans for all of this. Thinking, get some paths cleared out. Be a great place for like a little track, maybe a place for some go karts. Get a four wheeler track going, you can ride through dirt bikes. And uh, got a little idea for something to go in kind of in this general area, starting about this fence line. But we'll see how that goes. That's a lot of digging involved in that. So, a little bit more than just a shovel's worth. <laughs> rent a excavator and start digging but we'll see how it goes okay fence down again definitely ain't been kept up with in forever but yeah she rolls all the way back at the hill everything like that going on comes all the way through Somewhere, if you can see it, way out yonder, right about in the air, stakes they marked out for the property line, which I need to do something with. Those stakes like that ain't ever gonna hold all the way down to this one here. Maybe go buy some of those big metal fence posts, like for chain link fence. Spray paint them like a bright orange color or something. Pound them in the ground. That way it'll always be known who's is who and what's what. And it'll be a good start to a fence. Because we're going to have to put a fence out here. Nothing too super fancy, but definitely going to need a fence of some sort. Uh, you know, here's what it is. But way over there, just in front of that tree line is where the actual road is. And that's where the property line ends. 
So it goes a good little ways. We got plenty of room for all kind of crazy activities going on out here. And peace and quiet when you want it. It's pretty peaceful out here. We are a good little bit of ways away from the closest big city. But we're real close to the lake. Which is nice. Runs all the way down there to uh, there's two poles sticking out the ground there. Looks like somebody probably when this was a functioning farm or ranch, everybody's got to have you know your name of your ranch hung up. So I might do something, get a nice sign made, make a nice sign, you know, something the RCS shop. Welcome to Funsville. Be like your own little redneck pastrana land out here and this i've been working on the past couple days i ain't finished yet i gotta get one more row of bricks got a little fire pit we started here ain't nothing super complicated about it i'm pretty sure this was probably gonna move in the end anyway it's definitely not gonna be a long-term thing just stacking up some bricks i'm gonna do one more row around the top Get a couple more pieces of rebar shoved in. Just debating on doing the whole fill them with concrete thing, but depending on, you know, how temporary this really turns out to be, I don't even know if I want to go that far with it. If I just buy some more rebar and try to plug all the holes, probably be good enough for a fire pit. I mean, we ain't building foundations for a house just yet, so. But that's about it so far. Just a quick little update. Introduction to the uh, channel. Ooh, lightning. Fun, fun. Uh, and, you know, we'll bring you along for the ride. We got plenty of days and plenty of hard work going on ahead of us here. And, uh, you know what they say. But, otherwise, eh, get a better scope of the building here, like see, you got the original six buys, which they've let warp and twist, we gotta do something with those, eventually I wanna enclose this whole space, and then they tried to slap up these four by fours, and then they put a bunch of bracing in, but they didn't quite do it right for a pole barn. Generally speaking, you put purlins on the inside, too, and you brace like one or two corners, like they did over there, to help keep the building, you know, square and rocking back and forth. They seem to have went ham with four by fours every damn where. And you can tell everywhere they put in a brace, they had a bend, because eventually, this brace is going to start weighing down and any movement is going to kick it if they'd have done something kind of sort of like this piece only accurately they had it kind of good over here nailed into this and then they just kind of veered way off over there into that so i don't know this one here they seem to do kind of right They'd had way more purlins and way more six buys. This is, this wouldn't be generally preferred method of building a pole barn, I can tell you that much. Having to run kickers off of all the uh, poles to support a doubled up top cord. It's like they tried to build it conventional framing style and just skip out on like seven eighths of all the lumber needed but i mean it looks like it's been here for a really long time so i guess it ain't going nowhere so we're gonna have to come through i think i'm gonna do a uh, three ply two by sixes find spots dig some holes get a nice concrete footer going and run them up start getting rid of some of all these kickers they got running 
get some more actual structure going in here so you don't need as many kickers and diagonal braces and then you know put some actual purlins up so you can uh start closing off the inside the uh general goal is nice big workshop space we want two post lift here build a what they call a dirty room somewhere in here for you know grinding grinders and things like that mill and a lathe in here you know and then build a clean room something for uh engine building whether it be anything from small engine little predators on go-karts to uh i don't know ls engines the old truck there is due for a complete rebuild she got like 355,000 miles on her all original so that whole thing needs to be gone through every nut and bolt and a bunch of parts replaced rebuild an engine transmission go through the rear end all suspension components but i can't complain she's been a good truck for all these years 23 years old now she still fires right up so you know that's a chevy so that's where we're at right now be a slow work in progress more work than progress most days i'm assuming but is what it is you want something in life you got to put in the effort right well i'm gonna get off here and quit rambling a little bit because i have a tendency to do that and uh we'll catch you next time keep you updated thanks for watching y'all